Hello my dude, uh, so some of you had some questions regarding my previous tutorial on YouTube and Tumblr, so I finally decided to film another video. Big boobs! And uh, hopefully uh, this will turn into a little mini-series of tutorials on my channel. Um, so this person messaged me on Tumblr saying they followed my tutorial and their hair looks bomb. But uh, when they upload it into Sims 4 Studio, it looks like shite. So this person seems to be having um, UV map issues and seems to be having a hard time understanding how layers work in Blender. So this is what I'm going to be addressing in this video. After you open up a mesh into Blender, you will notice a bunch of icons on the top left. Those are your layers, similar to the ones we have in Photoshop or photo editing software. Um, so each layer contains information about the mesh. So the most important ones that we'll be using are uh, Sims 4 Studio Mesh 1, 2, and 3. They correspond to um, the hat chops and the actual hair itself. You can make layers invisible by deselecting the eye icon um, on the left. Um, so that way you can see what layer corresponds to exactly what mesh. Um, now let me zoom into the layers a little bit more so I can uh, kind of explain what everything means. So Sims 4 Studio only recognizes three layers, uh, those being Sims 4 Studio uh, Mesh 1, 2, and 3. If you have um, other layers uh, with meshes, they will not show up in Sims 4 Studio because the program only recognizes those three exact layers. So if you add something, you would need to then uh, either rename it into one of those or combine it with one of those. And um, the rest is just uh, Blender stuff, like the rig is your model and the lamps and the camera is about um, really about shading uh, if you're using rendering. So it's nothing that uh, really shows up in Sims 4 Studio anyway. Okay, so say you've added a ponytail to your hair and you love how it's looking. So now it's time to merge the layers in order for Sims 4 Studio to actually recognize the additions you've made. Uh, and we do that by selecting um, the layers we've added to the original layer and holding Control J. That will instantly merge all the layers. Um, so now uh, Sims 4 Studio will recognize them. Also make sure uh, after you've merged that the layer name is a whole number and it's not 0 0.01 or 0 0.02, it needs to be either 1, 2, or 3. Okay, so now let's save our mesh and see how it will look in Sims 4 Studio. Um, so once we open it up in Sims 4 Studio, you, you can immediately see that the texture is different than the one it shows in Blender. This is because we haven't really fixed the UV map. If you are happy with the texture that you see in Sims 4 Studio, that's perfectly fine. You can upload the hair into your game and you're good to go. But I will uh, show you how to edit the UV map. So in order to edit the UV map, I will undo the merge so we can edit the ponytail and the hair separately. The reason why um, textures show different in Blender than in Sims 4 Studio is because when you upload things to Blender, they come with their own texture. Um, and in order to make everything have one single texture, you need to go into the textures tab and change the diffuse map into the one that your hair is using. In my case, uh, it was diffuse map um, 01. It can be named whatever. It's usually 01 or just diffuse map. So you just switch it into that and it will automatically update the texture. And you do that for every single new layer you add. Um, you can, if you add bangs or a bun or whatever, you would need to change the diffuse map um, in order for everything to have one texture. After you've updated the texture, um, sometimes it would look good, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, you would need to do some adjustments and how we do that is by going into edit mode and selecting all the verticals by pressing A and that will open the UV map on the right side. Now all you need to do is just load um, the texture you want to use. So after you have your verticals and texture showing at the same time, you can get into editing. 
um, basically um, the verticals you see correspond to different areas of the mesh um, and wherever they're placed that's where they grab their texture so from. what I do when editing UV maps is I make a selection in the hair by pressing L and um, then the corresponding verticals will show up on my texture and I just move it around until I'm satisfied with the result and if you're happy uh, with the hair after you've done your UV mapping you can upload it into Sims 4 Studio and put it in your game. But if you want to take it a step further, I will show you how to add custom textures as well. So in order to open up a custom texture, you go back to your textures tab, click on your diffuse map and uh, scroll down into image and then source. And what you do is um, the source should be grayed out. Uh, you click on the little icon uh, you remove the source and then you click again to upload another source and then you just uh, scroll into your folders in order to find um, the custom texture that you would like that to use. That will instantly update the textures to every single mesh that uses um, the diffuse map. And then um, it's the same thing, you just adjust the UV map so it matches um, the mesh the way you'd like it to. After you're done with the UV map you just um, combine the layers again. Now let's see how this looks in Sims 4 Studio. I um, open up the mesh and open up our custom texture and as you see it still doesn't look right and that's because Sims 4 Studio um, shows every single layer as if it's activated so it will show the hat chops as well uh, meaning we would need to adjust the UV map for the hat chops and uh, we fix the hat chops um, it's literally the same process, you just go back, um, select everything and just move the verticals to the corresponding texture space. Um, and this is how you properly do a UV map. Um, I hope you guys find this helpful, if you have any questions just drop them in the comments or message me on Tumblr. Also uh, we have a pretty active Discord server uh, with about like 600 members now, so I would love for you to join, um, it's really up to you. but. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know and thank you so much for watching. You wonder why your motherfucking weave or your fashion over motherfucking packages have arrived. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus!